Hello plant friends, this is Mira from Basie Plants and welcome to my channel. So we have uh, several orders of business today. Of business. First of all, I would like to thank you all for subscribing and for watching the videos. It really means a lot to me. I'm quite happy that there are 13 of you now. I know that's not a lot, but I think it's very nice. I appreciate it and it's uh, interesting to know that there is someone out there watching so thank you for that and I hope that you are enjoying the videos and if you have something that you would like to say to me some suggestions feel free to write in the comments below or even to uh, DM me on Instagram uh, so thank you and then uh, second order of business <laughs> I would like to apologize for not putting up a video last week I did some um, reorganizing in the room where I grow my plants and you can see that a shelf is missing there with African violets they're actually now behind you uh, because I added more lights and actually there is light there and so I had to do that and it has taken me more time than I thought as it usually does so yeah that's the second thing and the third thing and possibly the fourth I have some Hoyas that I would like to plant Actually, one Hoya that I would like to plant and another that I would like to repot. So, uh, the first Hoya that we will be planting is Hoya Nicholsonie that I got a cutting from, I think it was maybe a month ago or less than a month ago. And it rooted really nicely in some water, and I will show you. And I would like to transfer it to semi hydro. And the second thing is my Hoya Imperialis pink. And I've had this for four months or five since November last year. I received it in a really bad shape. It was a really, really bad order, but that's a topic for maybe some other week. And it hasn't been doing really nicely. And I recently find, found out that maybe I've been doing some things wrong. The new growth has been very slow, so that's probably my fault. So we will try to fix that today, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a good job. We'll see. So let's start first with Hoya that we will be transferring to Semi Hydro. And this is this is the cutting of Hoya Nicholsonie. And you can see here. Ooh, dripping. Drip, drip, drip away. Okay, you can see here this Hoya has really nice roots. I may have waited too long <laughs> to pot it up, but that's okay. You know, it I'm just splashing water <laughs> everywhere. Great. <laughs> That's what you want to do. And we will be potting this in semi-hydro. Why semi-hydro? I decided to pot this in semi-hydro because it actually works in my conditions. It's difficult to overwater, at least what I think. I never, I don't have any issues with overwatering in semi-hydro. That's the first thing. And the second thing, plants seem to love it. They grow much, much faster than in soil. I have Hoya caudata, Hoya um, carnosa compacta which never grew really well for me in, in bark, but in semi-hydro it's just branching out, it's doing things, it's amazing. And then I have Hoya Bella and Hoya Australis. So they are doing great. And I do have, I think, one Carnosa. Of course, this is a different Hoya, Hoya uh, Nicholsonia, so it might not do well, it might do great, we'll see. I do think that I will still have, you know, if I notice that something is going wrong, I still ha have this to work with, so, you know. I can actually show you the Hoya Bella. You can actually see the roots, and they're really, really looking great. Uh, this cutting isn't very old at all. It's maybe two and a half months in semi-hydro, and the roots were even smaller than Hoya Nicholsonia when I placed it here. And I don't think you even have to root in water. You can just put it in semi-hydro and put a bag over it, and it will root. Uh, some leaves are a little bit paler. That's because it's it has gotten a bit too much of my LED light. But it was much smaller. You know, there is all all this new growth here. You know, they even have peduncles. You can see it here. It hasn't flowered yet, and I actually would have been surprised to see flowers because it's very very young. Things are happening. It's growing really nicely, and I can say that all of my Hoyas in semi-hydro are doing really, really nicely. So, you know, must be working nice for them. Not every Hoya will do great, but we'll just try. That was the third order of business. 
possibly. Fourth order of business. So I got Hoya Imperialis in November. When it arrived, uh, the one leaf was very, very dehydrated, uh, wilty. It was wilting, it was, it was gone. Dehydrated is just not even a word that I should use, it was dead. And then um, two leaves were yellow and there was new growth, but it really looked not, not, not very good. So that's Hoya Imperialis. This leaf was already yellow, not like this. It was a little bit less than this and it didn't have these um, rusty looking uh, spots. And I'm just gonna bring it close closer to you. Uh, cannot figure out where the camera is. And this is the, the new leaf that was also on the plant when I received it. And it got a little bit bigger, but again, I think it got too much light, that's for sure. And then these two new leaves are what developed in my home. You can obviously see there, there is something wrong with the plant, and I actually had Hoya Imperialis Palawan, or Palawan, or however you want to pronou pronounce that, from the same seller, and it I got it in even a worse condition. All the leaves were yellow, and it dropped all the leaves within like a week. And I kept the stick <laughs> for, you know, a couple of weeks, but eventually it just rotted and, you know, not even though it was in a really, really porous mix, it just didn't make it. I did make several mistakes with this myself, I'm gonna be honest. Um, the first mistake, I think, I've been told, is that this is a too small of a pot. It's not actually a pot, it's, you, you obviously see it's a cup uh, that I cut to act as a pot because it's transparent and I like to put my uh, cuttings in something transparent and I cannot find orchid pots that are so small. Anyways, I can monitor the roots and I can monitor the, the dryness. So the first mistake is that, as you can see, it's in a very, very barky mix. Uh, it has some leca, it has some bark, it has perlite, just a bunch of things. Uh, and it doesn't really have soil. Uh, and the, what I didn't realize is that uh, Hoya Imperialis is a terrestrial Hoya. You know, in my head they are all kind of epiphytes, but actually no, this is a terrestrial Hoya. This leaf might fall off by the end of the vid video. <laughs> so the first thing is this is a terrestrial Hoya. So it shouldn't be in this mix that it's so airy. I'm not sure if it bothers the roots. For example, if you have orchids, uh, terrestrial and epiphytes. If you put a, a terrestrial orchid such as Paphiopetalum into a terrest into a epiphyte mix, epiphytic mix, you know, bark, it will not do well. The roots they don't li like air so much as do the epiphytes, and they will stop growing in such an airy environment. I'm not sure if that is the case with this hoya. So that might be one of the reasons that it's not growing uh, so well. It's just this is not the environment meant for this plant and by the environment I mean the the soil and the second thing is uh, I think it's too dry it does dry out really fast and uh, I don't really water it I spray it so I just you know use this bottle and I spray around until I see some water falling from the bottom of the pot and this method has worked really nicely for all of my other Hoya cuttings but for this one you know, it's not dead, but it's not thriving. And Hoya Imperialis should be one of the faster growing Hoyas. Uh, the second problem is that Hoya Imperialis seems to like potting soil with, with some calcium in it. So I do have some crushed eggshells that you can barely see here. So I'm gonna add that. So yeah, that might be the issue. This might be due to the calcium or even magnesium deficiency. Okay, so a bit of a change here. I do have some leca here. Uh, again, my plastic cup. Uh, I already used a soldering iron to, to, you know, put some holes in it. And this will act as a reservoir. So the water will always be there at the bottom. And uh, the plant will be here at the top. But, you know, eventually roots will grow down. So I'm just going to put some 
LECA here, and I do hope I have enough. <laughs> I did boil LECA and I washed it uh, because there is some dust. And if you leave that dust in, I think uh, it may clog up that um, space, that aerial space that you get. Not the aerial space, but all that uh, air pockets that you get that are the benefits of using LECA. If you uh, leave, if you don't uh, wash it, if you don't rinse it, I think that dust will eventually settle there and then that might not work so well. You can actually see here, even though I rinsed it, there is still some dust there. Okay, I think that should, I think that should be enough. So let's see. Okay, that's not, oopsie. That's not too bad. And that is how not to do this. Don't drop <laughs> your cutting because the roots are sensitive at this stage. Okay, I think we're good. Just enough like um, I am gonna water it now so I can give you the idea of how this works. I did add a tiny bit of fertilizer and you should add fertilizer every time you you water in semi-hydro. So I used this Orchid Focus. I'm not sure if that will be good. Uh, just a very, very tiny amount. Uh, probably four or five times less than recommended dosage. And then this Algamic. They say this stuff is really good, so we will see how it works. So let's see if I can water this Hoya for you. I can just give it a thorough watering. See, the dust is there. So I'm just gonna tip it over for you, or I'm not. So you can kind of see the water goes out from these holes. And I'm just gonna give it a bit more water because, you know, I spilled everything from the reservoir. The water will go out from the from the holes on the sides, and um, basically uh, the water will stay at the bottom, but the lacquer will just stay moist. And I, I do use another cup because I'm very clumsy, and the second cup is without holes, so I put this cup inside, so it just doesn't spill any water. That's Hoya Nicosonia for you. So it has nice leaves, and I do hope it will grow nicely. Uh, we'll see. I will definitely keep you updated on this one. I hope it likes semi-hydro. This is an another Hoya we will repot now, the Hoya Imperialis. It's just not looking great. Th this leaf is looking fine. I do think it's getting too much light, so I did move it away from the light. So the yellowing shouldn't really be from the light. These um, reddish spots or margins, that's possibly the light, but the yellowing, it's just not what's supposed to happen. So let's check the roots. And this shouldn't be too difficult to get out. And I was right. I don't see any rot, which is good. I think it would have been impossible for this plant to rot. And you can see the mix is really not appropriate for, for a terrestrial Hoya or for any terrestrial plant. This is just really a bunch of perlite, leca, and then bark. Not not a great growth of roots, to be honest, compared to semi-hydro, for example, or uh, to some other cuttings that I rooted. I think this one has taken quite a lot of time to recover. And, you know, the reason it's not recovering is possibly because of the mix. It's not liking this environment. It's too dry, it's too airy, it's... I don't think it's suited for this Hoya. I do have just a bits of eggshells. And, you know, I don't think you're supposed to mix them in, but I did it anyways, because why not? I do have some sphagnum moss. Uh, not a lot. And, you know, if you don't compress it, it should be fine. It's still, uh, I think, porous. I think this will hold on to moisture well. And if I don't compress it, and if, even if I do, you know, it falls apart. So that's good. And it does have... Uh, more core than the previous mix. It has more soil. It does have sphagnum moss and it does have um, bark, perlite. So lots of things here. I do think 
this mix will deteriorate much faster because sphagnum moss is here and then it will stay moist for long so it will break down quite fast so that's something to look out for so i'm gonna use this orchid pot um i did drill some holes on the sides again this is for ventilation i don't think i don't think this is necessary especially if it's a terrestrial plant this is used for app fights this method and you can notice it's quite a big pot and that's another thing many people said that imperialis likes a big pot so we will see if that's true or if it's not true so let's just put some mixture so yeah i'm not gonna compress it i'm gonna leave it like that it's gonna be airy but moist but not as airy as the previous one and i'm gonna add some eggshells to the top for that added calcium i'm not sure how much just that seems okay does it maybe it's too much okay just a bit more boop, 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 boop. this feels like i'm making a recipe or something i'm gonna put back the ladder this plant doesn't need it obviously it's small but you know we're just hoping really for the future okay so that's it you can kind of see we'll see if this works so let me show you the end result so this is the hoya nicholsonia in a semi-hydro and we will see how quickly the roots will go down that's how it looks like and you can see the the water reservoir here so you know if i just tip it if i move it to one side the water will just start coming out of the reservoir and let's not do that because i don't want to water this again let's hope this plant will do okay a very unstable hoya imperialis so you know this is the mix there is still a lot of perlite i do hope that the pot size is okay i honestly don't know people say they'll, it likes a big pot I know I'm not gonna overwater it. Big pot will probably keep the moisture in longer. So I think I'm gonna be okay with just spraying the top and you know, moss is wicking so it will just distribute the moisture well. We'll see. I will have to be careful when watering this. I don't want to overwater it. It just, I think keeping it at this level of moisture will be, will be good. And we will see how quickly it drains obviously. And I do hope that the eggshells will, will you know help that the new leaves come out bigger and you know without this yellowing stuff not bigger but just not with yellowing stuff i hope it does better or at least the same i don't know is, is that good i just hope it doesn't die so thank you guys for watching i will definitely keep you updated on those two hoyas and i hope they do well again if you have any requests for any future videos feel free to leave them in the comment below if you want me to talk more about semi-hydro for Hoyas, I can do that too. And yeah, see you in the next video. See you on my Instagram at basie.plants. And I hope you're having a great time this weekend. Bye.